out of nowhere, this Uber driver is in front of me like this. He grabbed my shirt. Give me my money. He? I was like, get your filthy hands off me. I'm going to tell you guys my experiences and see if any of you have actually been through similar experiences. Yeah? Me for bold, send me a course um studio ewo. My location was from Sotum to Russia, down so man. This driver came, first of all, when I was walking to the car, I could see him in the front seat, and his reaction to me and my appearance was, boy, like I was shocked, and in my head, I was like, calm down, calm down, bitch, just relax, so I didn't even pay any mind to that, and then I, st I went straight to the back seat, and then I sat. I could see that some friends of mine were standing by the roadside asking him to tell me that they are calling me. Be I mean, I had earplugs in my ear, but I could see that they were signaling him to that they wanted to say hi. And you know what this driver said? He told them, say, oh, kwaba. And I was like, in my head, I was like, hey, I didn't have something here. I still didn't talk. I kept my cool. So when he turned and he got close to them, I said hi to them, and then we left. Okay, now we go to our Shiban yard. He's expected to go straight, just as the map has has shown, say, we are going to Kaneshi. He's supposed to go straight from our Shiban yard, and then we went to I was like, I didn't know one for straight, there's no traffic there, and I will come off all the way to Kashiman and San Yako Kaneshi. He's like, baby, I'm up. Now, Suma, Mister, if I want a mefa, I swear to God, this is how the guy spoke to me. I was shocked. And then again, I told myself, chill, bitch, chill. You don't know this. Man. So we were going to Kwashiman. I was hoping we were passing through Kwashiman to Odoko. We passed Kwashiman. We were heading towards Odoko. Oh, before I realized, this guy branched to Odoko official town. You know the official off town road at the junction, he just grinds. I was like, hey, Oga, we are going to Kaneshi. Why are you passing like long distances when it's actually ahead of us? What's going on? The guy just said, Look, how dare you speak to me like that in my own car? You know what? I'm no longer going. Come on, get down, get down, get down from my car. Huh? I was just shook looking at the guy like, all I asked for you to do is to go straight and don't turn where it's unnecessary. Just turn around and let's go. My friend, come down from my car. I said, I'm not going again. Oh, me. Not looking for trouble yesterday. I just got down from the car. I know a lot of people will not believe me that me, pa, me, show be. I'm an editing class. I'm saying, I'm in the I'm in the I'm in the I don't even know what happened to me. I just kept quiet and, and got down from the car. And then I crossed the street trying to look for another car this is me standing at odoko adi junction waiting to flank a taxi to continue my journey out of nowhere this uber driver is in front of me like this he grabbed my shirt give me my money he i was like get your filthy hands off me what money i have ended the trip you are owing me 15 ghana city so pay and i'm like i'm not gonna give you shit First of all, you didn't complete your, your journey and the trip is supposed to be 24 cities. So if I pay you 15 Ghana cities, am I going to pay another 15 cities to get to Kaneshi from Odoko or what? It's not my fault. I didn't say I wasn't continuing the ride. You're the one that canceled on me and said I should get out of your car just because I told you to go straight. So I'm not going to pay. Oh, this guy just grabbed my boobs again. And this shirt is so tight. As he grabs the shirt, he's grabbing my boobs. This guy is indirectly smooching me. I kept telling him, don't fucking touch me. Don't touch me. Get your hands off me. Don't touch me. Get your hands off me. He was not listening. He kept screaming, give me my money, give me my money. And I was late for work. There are people in the studio booked waiting for me. So I just gave him the 15 cities and then he left. And while all these things were happening, there were some women behind me. And they didn't even ask a question like, 
Why are you harassing her? Why do you keep touching her inappropriately? What's going on? Why are you embarrassing her in public? None of them even spoke to me. But as soon as, as the guy left, all of them came. Oh, are they? Are they are After narrating the audio, me, me and Kamin, she had that. Me and Kamin, she had that. In my head, I was like, fuck y'all bitches. And then I walked off. Fast forward. This is me in the Uber ride, having retrospection, reflecting on what just happened because I'm still panicking. Asking myself, have I lost my chill? How is it that somebody just bullied me and I just gave in so easily? What's fucking wrong with me? That's not me. That's not what I do. I would have kicked that nigga straight into that street and get hit by a car. And I'll probably be in someone by now. I don't know whether it was God holding me from going to jail or what. I didn't touch the nigga. I just succumbed. I just submitted and allowed him to bully me. First of all, I need to check myself for doing that shit. I don't know why the fuck I did that. Secondly, I have respected both. I have respected both. When I went through this, you know, ordeal again, I went, I went straight to the uh, leave a comment section and then I wrote that this is what the driver did and he inappropriately touched me several places. Within a matter of five minutes, someone responded to me and asked that I give them details. Being the script writing bitch that I am, I gave them from scene one to scene ten. And then he called, they apologized. And bitch, you know what? That guy has been fired and canceled from working with both forever and ever. And they also assured me that if I if I want to file a you know a complaint about sexual harassment or public disgrace or danger to coronavirus, they're gonna help me. About like um, a few hours later, I realized that this nigga has texted me apologizing. And this morning, he has sent another apology. For that disgrace you gave to me at Odoko Station. Unless you take me back there, kneel down, apologize to me in the presence of all those women. Tell them the truth that I didn't do shit. You just harassed me and harassed me for nothing. Thank you, boys. Y'all be very careful. Ain't seen no man as a mammy too, ye. Ne crack 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 and say. A minor yet, Timo has a gana has a. If you don't know your way around things, if you are not smart, if you are not informed, if you are not very enlightened or exposed, then any person or anybody can deal with you and go scot free. Imagine if I couldn't type or if I didn't know that there was a leave a comment button where you can report drivers. This nigga would have gone scot free. <laughs> Y'all, please take note. Any Uber driver disrespects you in a way, touches you in a sexual harassment way, any way that anybody treats you that is unfair to you, please report them and get them off the app.